Uh, today we'll learn about transformations. Basically, we're going to take uh, an object that's graphed, like a triangle or a square, something like that, and you're going to move it to different positions, or you're going to stretch it, or you're going to flip it over, uh, like a reflection. These are called transformations. Okay? So, translation is the first transformation. And that moves every point same distance and direction. Translation. Don't misunderstand transformation. Transformation is all of these things we're going to talk about. Translation, stretch, and reflection. Okay. There's rotation too, but we're not going to that today. Um, so that all these terms I'm talking about today are all under the word transformation. Okay. So let's just do a quick example. We're going to translate, let's say, I want to this little triangle. So we have uh, this point here, this is uh, negative 4, 1. The point up here is one positive, negative 1, positive 3. And this point down here is negative 1, positive 1. So, I'm going to translate this four units to the right and one unit down. So, four units to the right. This one would be one, two, three, four, and down one. Right there. This one goes over four and down one. This one goes over four. points. This one's 4, 0. This one is at 0, 0. It's three, zero. I'm sorry, 3, zero. 3, 0. This one is at 3, 2. Everybody agree? Yep. Alright, now how did I know to do that? 4 units to the right and 1 unit down. So, here's the original. This is a notation saying we're going to transform. We're going to translate this. The general rule is x plus h, x plus k. h and k is how much you're actually moving it, left and right, up and down. Which one is left and right, <coughs> h or k? H. Which one's up and down? Okay. okay. So on this one, my rule, if I was going to write it, would be x what? Plus, minus? Four. Plus, how many? Four. Four. And what's y? Minus. That's y. Sorry. Y minus one. So if you're given that instruction with this picture, could you do it? Yeah. Move it over to the right. Four and down one. If I didn't move it up or down any, it just the y would just be like that. Y plus zero put down. Okay? Any questions on translation? Okay, good. What about um, let's talk about a vertical stretch? So given the typical rule here, this says looks like this. Okay? Now for a vertical stretch, this is going to be A is greater than 1. Vertical meaning going up or down, right? So if I want it to go up, A is going to be greater than 1. If I'm going to stretch it, not necessarily up. If Y was negative, this would stretch it down. 
And let's just do one real quick. Uh, let's take the same uh, shape here. All right, now I'm going to stretch this. What do you say? Two. Two Y. The X's all stay the same. Okay. So if this is at negative four one, it's negative four two. Okay, no wait a second. Not that. I just want to stretch it. I'm only going to stretch which one? Okay. Yeah. Just the top. Out. Wait, how do you get, how do you know if it's the top one or if it's a square? If it's a square, would you do both you do the, the top two? Okay. 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 Cool. So the base is going to stay where it's at. You're going to stretch the top part. Got it? That's what I want you to do today. Everybody understand? All right. So this is going to stretch to what? Yeah. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That would be your stretched um, shape. But if you if you stretch the bottom to negatively, wouldn't it be like the same thing? You know, yeah. You'd have to do negative two one. Well, if you did this, this would be a four negative four two, right? This would be at negative one two. And depending on what they're asking for, I would take both of those. Okay. If they want you to stretch the whole shape, if they don't say stretch the whole shape, if they say stretch the top, you stretch the bottom, top, stretch the bottom, stretch the bottom. If they don't say, then you stretch the whole thing. Got it? Now, I've, not, I've not looked at your uh, instructions, so I'm not sure what it's going to ask you stretch the whole thing if it doesn't say. Everybody understand? Okay. Can you do this? Yes or no? Yes. Good. Right. Easy so far? No, of course not to stretch. No, not today. What if I want to shrink it? Your rule would be um, a y but a is between 0 and 1. Like a fraction. Like a half. Or, which means you'd be dividing by 2. If it's 30, you'd be dividing by 3. Okay? You see one? Let's just shrink this one. Let's do another one. Let's do. Um, Okay, and I want to do uh, this rule.
Everything's backwards in the mirror, right? So a reflection is just like that. So the mirror is, in this case, the x-axis. This is what it looks like for a rule. A times y, where a equals negative 1. So what that means is if my point, we'll do, a one, we'll do one point here. If my point is at 2, negative 1, and I'm reflecting about the x-axis, all you do is do the opposite y value. To positive one. That would be the reflective part. So all this is saying is if you're reflecting about the x-axis, take all your y values and do the opposite. That's all you gotta do. Can we just count how many others to Yeah, that's how I would do it. Yeah. Okay. Now what if I said the y-axis? What do you think you're gonna do? Uh x x y. X A. X A. And again, just make it the opposite. That's all you're going to do. And then plot it. So if I did this and on the y axis, again, if you just want to count, that's one, two units away. You're going to go two units past the axis. Or do the opposite of X. It would be, I'm sure that's negative there. That would be positive two, negative two. If you did both by negative one, would you get one? In the other quadrant? Mm -hmm. You mean the diagonal quadrant? Yeah, yeah, and then have it exactly diagonal from it. Like if it's, it would go one up, and then that would be. If the you did this at, at uh, 2, 1, you're right here. Yeah, but it would end up exactly opposite. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, any questions? That's it, that's all you're doing today. Good. Right. Pretty easy. Assignment is uh, page two fourteen, one to fifteen.